Every day, we rise, challenging ourselves to work for what we believe in. At U.S. Border Patrol, protecting our borders is more than a job. It's a calling. Agents answer the call, working together to keep our country and communities safe. If you are ready for a new mission, join U.S. Border Patrol and go beyond. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. The Adventures of Jungle Jim broadcast weekly over this station are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you every week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Make your weekends more enjoyable by following the example of 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who enjoy the world's best comic and adventure pictures by the world's best artists in every issue of the Comic Weekly. Jungle Jim and Kolo have made their way to Karnak's headquarters on a little island hidden away on a lake. There, stopped by Karnak's niece, Judith, she pleads with them to leave the island and finally threatens them with her rifle. Failing in their attempt to reason with her, Jim and Kolo find it necessary to disarm her by force. At a signal from Jim, Kolo wrenches the rifle from Judith's grasp. Jim clamps his hand over her mouth, but not in time to prevent her giving one sharp, piercing scream. The scream awakens Karnak and his men. Jim and Kolo quickly bind and gag Judith. Then, armed with her rifle as their only weapon, they advance toward Karnak's hideout. From his bedroom window, Karnak opens fire on the leaping, dodging figures, as his well-trained machine gunner also starts firing from his post at the other end of the cabin. Edging their way forward cautiously, always taking advantage of the cover afforded by the rocky ledges that line the beach, Jungle Jim and Kolo get nearer to the house but the murderous machine gun fire finally halts their advance. Well, guess we'll stop, Colo. That machine gunner up there is getting too close for comfort. I thought that one shot I fired hit him. I heard him yell away down here. I guess it just grazed him. Try again, Thorn. Maybe this time you have better luck. Get him good. No, Colo. I can't afford to take the chance. We've only got three cartridges left, and they're going to be saved as a last emergency. How many men you think up there in house with Karnak? And that's just what's worrying me, Kolo. So far, we've only seen two. The one at the lower end of the cabin is undoubtedly Karnak. Mm. And then there's the machine gunner at the other end. Listen, Listen Kolo. Just because we've only seen two, that doesn't mean that that's all there is. Mm. Men with masks must be Karnak. If only two men there, Twan, we have good chance. Yeah. We'd have a better one if we could put that machine gunner out of business. He wastes many bullets on us, Twan. Maybe soon he have no more. I hope you're right. But it wouldn't be like Karnak to be short of ammunition. Probably got a small arsenal up there. Yes, Twan. There's something else we've got to worry about, Kolo. And that's time. The longer they hold us off, the more time they'll have to get help up there. there Maybe some native villages close by that they can signal to. And then we'll have a tribe of headhunters on our heels and... Boy, that'd mean our finish. Hmm. Stop shooting now, Twan. What happened now? Well, they've just let up. Hoping we'll get careless and stick our heads up to see what's happening. Well, we'll do what they're doing. Play possum. Kolo, hmm. have you still got a good view of the porch around that cabin? Yes, Twan. Look through crack in rocks. Still see everything. Good. Now we'll just lie low. Don't move. Maybe we can fool them into believing that they've hit us. We can hold out long enough. They may come out onto the porch to investigate. This machine gunner will come out in the open where I can get a good aim at him. I'll put him out of action with one shot. Mm. Machine gun still in window to one. Can see man, too. 
Karnak not there now. Karnak be gone. And he's probably going to hold a council of war and decide on some new strategy. I'm not worried about Karnak so much. I take my chances against him. He's only using an automatic. A darn machine gunner I want. Well, he's the one that's holding us up. <laughs> Inside the besieged cabin, Karnak has called a native boy and taken him to the room Sparks is using as a machine gun nest. While Sparks keeps a watchful eye on the two men outside, Karnak gives the native boy instructions. Listen carefully. Do just as I tell you and don't make any mistakes. Yes, Master. Now, there's only two men out there, and as far as I've been able to discover, they've only one gun between them. They probably took that for my stupid niece Judith when they caught her. If that's the case, Chief, it won't do them much good. There was only five cartridges in the magazine to start with. And they've used two of them sniping at me. Mm. That leaves them with three. They're not going to waste any more. That's just what I mean. Now, here's what I want you to do, Kamaha. Go to the door in the living room. Open it slowly. And only enough to slide through. Yes, Master. Then make a dash across the open over to the rocks. Circle around back of the big shed and down to the water behind those two men. Grab the canoe and paddle over to the other shore. Climb the big hill. The signal fire is built and ready. Wait until just before daylight, then light it and signal the natives in the hills. Yes, Master. That's the idea, Chief. You see, we can cover Kahama until he gets clear in the lake. I'll keep their heads down so they can't see anything. And if one of them gets up to chase him, I'll lay out with a load of lead. Now are you sure you understand? There's no chance of them seeing you in the shadows on the porch. Keep well down and move quickly, and don't fail, you understand? Yes, Master. I go quick. Well, Sparks, whoever they are out there, they'll be sorry they tried such a foolhardy trick as raiding me. I wouldn't want to be too optimistic, Chief, but I ain't heard a peep or seen a move out of those two guys for the last ten minutes. Maybe I bumped these two guys off. Spread enough hot lead over those rocks to kill an army. What the devil are you doing back here? Get moving before I give you a clap on the master. Head. Something wrong in White Missy room. You mean the prisoner, Mr. Brill? What is it? I don't know, master. Come see, master. Like go off. On. Like, like that's she... That's a signal you mean. If that she devil is signaling, I'll... Sparks, get that gun ready again. Yeah. Get going, you. I'll go see what that tigress is up to. Ah, Miss Devril, safe in bed, I see. Oh. Well, you're not fooling me by your little subterfuge. Oh. One of my boys has been watching you attempting to signal those fools on the outside. Yes? If I didn't want to keep you here to use you in case of emergency, I'd put one of these bullets through your head. Oh. Now, just to make sure you won't get into any more trouble... I'm going to relieve you of any temptation. Okay. But you're just wasting your time. I don't know who those men are out there. Well, I'd be foolish to try to signal to them. Mm. For all I know, they may be natives rebelling against your tyranny. In that case, I'd be just as safe with you as I would with those headhunters. They're certainly not white men. Oh, no, indeed. What makes you so sure? Do you think any two white men would raid a place like this? Why, they'd bring enough men to take this place without any trouble. If it was any of the Army, Navy, or Marines, they'd have taken this place by now. Those men out there apparently haven't come armed enough to take this place, the way you've got it fortified. Well, I'm not so sure. Perhaps your foolhardy friend, Jungle Jim Bradley, has escaped from my natives and has taken it upon himself to play Prince Charming... And rescue you. Well. well, if so, he has played right into my hands. I'll have his handsome head before the sun is very high tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Now then, I'll take away everything here that you might play with and cause any trouble. <laughs> Well hidden among the rocks, Jungle Jim and Kolo have been watching a strange light coming from one of the windows in Karnak's hideout. Swan, what you make of light and window? 
It was a message, all right. It was someone who knows the Morse code. All I could get was help. Come quickly, I am. Mm. And then it stopped. There was no more except one letter, S. One letter. Someone be prisoner in there, Tuan. Yes, there's no doubt about that. And I'm going to find out who it is. Now listen, Colo. I'll keep watch up here. You try to sneak back to that girl, Karnak's niece, and find out who they got as a prisoner. Huh? Look. Look, Tuan. Hmm? Up on the porch of house. Far end. Somebody move. So it is, Colo. Yep. He's working along the wall. Maybe messenger, Tuan. Go for help to natives. You won't get far, Colo. I can pick him off if he starts out in the open. See? He disappears in the shadows, but you can see him when he comes out in the moonlight. Yeah, look at him. He's heading toward that shed or hut in the back of the house there. Mm. If he cross over in open Tuan, you see him plain in moonlight. And that's what I'm waiting for. Boy, I can't afford to miss him. I fire one cartridge at him. You know, Colo will only have two left. He be almost to edge of the porch now, Tuan. No worry, Colo. I've got a good beat on him if he runs for it. And I got the distance just about right. He wait, Tuan. Maybe afraid to go. Boy, boy. That machine gunner is trying hard to cover his getaway. That's why he's trying to keep our attention away from that end of the house. Mm. Still hide in shadow, Tuan. He not try to run yet. He's waiting till that machine gunner gives him a good blast to run on. Hey, you got him sure now, Tuan. Yes, sirree. I know that bullet wasn't wasted. When that hit, it spun him half around before he fell. Good, Tuan. One more gone. Maybe only two left in house now. Well, I wonder what's happening now, Colo. Yeah. Boy, they're awfully quiet. Mm. I wonder if he hurt. Well, I guess they must have heard the native yell. Well, look, Akolo. See if you can slip back and question Karnak's niece, will you? I'd like to know who's being held prisoner in that house. Wait, Tuan. Huh? What you say, message said? Well, it read, help. Come quickly, I am. And then one letter S. Hmm. Say, Kolo, were you thinking that... Letter S, beginning of Shanghai, Tuan. Help? Come quickly. I am Shanghai Lil. I wonder. Just a very short distance separates Jungle Jim and Kolo from Shanghai Lil being held prisoner by the mad, merciless Karnak. But that short distance is swept by the death-dealing fire of Karnak's machine gunner. Soon the night of terror will give way to the revealing light of a new day. Will it help Jungle Jim and Kolo in their fight to capture Karnak and rescue Shanghai Lil? Don't miss the next episode in the adventures of Jungle Jim over this station. Remember, you can follow these adventures in the full-color action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement containing the best full-color adventure and comic pictures. Remember, no other comic supplement can give you the top names of Cartoonland, like the list of all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follow the fun and frolics of Popeye the Sailor, Tilly the Toiler, Barney Google, the Little King, the impish antics of Skippy, the Cats and Yammer Kids, the immortal Mickey Mouse, as well as the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who every week find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim We'll be heard at this same time next week over this same station. Be sure to tune in.
With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.